Today, I'm going to tell you how to configure Ethernet IP in Kuka Robot. So first, you have to install this additional package software, Ethernet IP in Teach Pendant. So you log in expert level, expert level, Kuka, okay, and you find the startup additional software because you have to install it first in Teach Pendant. So you click new software as you can see because I already put this software in the desktop in the Teach Pendant. So it shows automatically. So we click on it. We choose to install it. So everything finish. So you just waiting. Yes, waiting, waiting. So so this is the step for install additional package in Teach Pendant. So next, stop, next step, I'm going to tell you how to install it and how to configure in Work Visual. Still like previous video, we already introduced how to install Profinet additional software package in Work Visual. Same method, double click, double click. Do not open a, pro a project, okay? Just double click it and cancel it. Click extra. Extra choose option package management. Click this plus, add a new, because you, you find that additional cope file, Ethernet app cope file, open it, install it, finish. So next step, Next step, open the project. You need to establish Ethernet IP communication for robot with outside controller. So open a project, randomly open it, okay? Active, active, activate this project. So I already added, I will delete it, and I will do it. I will demonstrate from the scratch so you can master this. Okay, first, in case, let's assume this project don't have Ethernet IP communication configuration. Right now, you have to configure it because you already add the additional package. Still, click bus structure like Profinet. Choose Add. You find Ethernet IP, choose click, already added in, double click, double click. In under this screen is for communication settings. So this is for laptop kind of automatically for your board, Intel board for Ethernet. So this is for network detention detection range. You can set whatever depends on the real situation, okay? This bus timeout is for whatever communication goes wrong or lost or exceed this time, you can define it. The scanner IP address means master address, master IP address. For example, if this, if your project has PLC, PLC uh, has Ethernet IP communication with KUKA robot then which means you can type the PLC IP address under this item, okay? So this same, and this screen is for IP setting. You just pay attention. Okay, this is for outside controller setting. Okay, master, master IP address. So we click local slave. Local slave, we first, we have to activate it. And device name, robot, we choose KUKA. And comment for 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 master, we choose PLC. And for this, this is the size, data length, input and output. Basically, two hundred fifty six is totally enough. And this is the port, input and output. And for slave port, okay. This and once you finish this configuration, you click apply okay 
you apply it, then the next step should be I/O mapping, right? You click field bus, same as Profinet or as EL one eight zero nine two eight zero nine module I/O mapping. You choose field bus. You click I/O Ethernet IP. You choose KRC robot side input. Okay, first we we start with input I/O mapping. So you have to filter output because we start input. So we filter filter output. Right now, as you can see, for PLCs uh, for robot side is just boolean data type, and for the Ethernet IP is byte is byte data type is byte data type. So what are you going to do? How do you handle this situation? So you, you can change this signals type. So click this one. As you can see, you can change the signal type by drag push and drag up and down. As you can see, I will show you. OK, you can, you, you can see it. Just, just depends on the real situation, OK? You can drag and push. As you can see, drag and push. So you okay. As you can see, bool already. Okay. So you can mapping right now. You 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 can mapping. Okay. I think already filter filter connect. Okay, as you can see, we fail to connect signals. So this is remaining signals for mapping. So we click on it, as you can see, as you can see. So this is the entire steps for Ethernet IP configuration in KUKA robot site. So someone may worry about what are you going to do in PLC side in outside control. In the coming video, I will tell you how to set up in PLC side or outside controls for Ethernet IP configuration. See you next week.